And that's where we begin with News 2's Riley Benson. State Representative Crystal Matthews is under fire tonight after a recorded phone call with a Greenville County inmate was released. In that phone call, she says Democrats need to secretly run as Republicans in local elections to improve Democrats' chances of winning. Riley, that phone call was placed allegedly by Matthews back in February. Yeah, Carolyn, State Representative Matthews, who is hoping to win the Democratic ticket for a chance to go against Senator Tim Scott this November, allegedly tells the inmate Democrats need to run in Republican races as secret sleepers to help Democrats win while using, quote, dope money to fund the campaigns. In the profanity-filled call, which lasts nearly 40 minutes, it was placed by Matthews to Perry Correction Institute inmate David Solomon Ballard back on February 15th. In the call, Representative Matthews says Democrats need to run as undercover Republicans to take and divert votes. She says people need to go out at night and take down opposing political signs. Representative Matthews goes on to say she doesn't understand why someone her age can't win in an important office in South Carolina and doesn't care where the money to support political campaigns comes from, even if it's what she calls dope money, as long as it's being used to fund campaigns like hers. I'm a single mother of five out here. <sighs> doing more than most do in a day and right. and and I still got to struggle to raise money for my campaign is my black people with money I don't care about no dope money give me that dope boy money where the fucking dope where the duffel bag boys get you find you somebody in your family that don't even know you donating to my campaign and put that shit under their name hey I got you like wait what, like, what the fuck now, News 2 tried reaching out to Matthews today, but she declined our request for an interview. The South Carolina Republican Party released a statement saying the remarks were made on Matthews' part because she, quote, knows Democrats can't win and they look forward to beating her in November. Now live in studio, Riley Benson, Count on 2.